much for tuning into our video. Today we have a quick, short, and simple tutorial on how to put together this Baby Trend Go Light Deluxe Pack and Play in the color Drip Drop Blue. We will also touch base on the accessories and the features of this pack and play and let you know if it's worth the money. We are going to rate on a scale of 1 to 5 within these categories. The ease of setup, the durability and stability of the pack and play, as well as the functionality. So this is what comes with the pack and play. A parent organizer, this is a plus for me because I do not want to have to go up and down the stairs to get the diaper changing necessities, especially right after giving birth. A bassinet vibrator and music module. The storage or travel bag, perfect for when you want to store the pack and play away or go on family trips. A removable bassinet with toys and a canopy. The floor mat for when you want your little one to play inside when he or she gets older. The removable diaper changing area. It doesn't feel like it would be 100% comfy for the baby, but the baby will only be in there for like two minutes while you change him or her. mesh netting for under the bassinet and changing area. We're not entirely sure what purpose this serves since the bassinet and changing table is securely fastened on the pack and play, but if you know, please comment and let us know. So this is actually our second attempt of opening a pack and play because the instructions didn't fully explain that you have to keep the pack and play folded and pull up strongly on side railings to lock it into place and then pull open and press on the bottom to lock into place. Now if you want to pack this up, all you have to do is squeeze on the button on all four sides and lift it up. Then, twist the handle on the bottom of the pack and play and lift it up to close. Take the play mat and place it into the bottom of the pack and play with the padded decorated side upwards. There are two tabs, two slits, and two velcros on each corner of the pack and play. You have to take each tab, slide it through each slit, and firmly attach the velcro to the outside bottom of the pack and play. Now it is time to assemble the bassinet. Make sure the strap doesn't get wrapped around the bar or you won't be able to slide the bars where they need to be. Then slide each bar to the respective side and snap into place. You will have to use some force for this. When you are ready to store the bassinet, all you have to do is pull up on the strap and then flatten the sides. Next, take the mesh netting and place it over the pack and play. Completely snap each clip onto the side railings of the pack and play. The bars should be facing upwards. You do have to push down really hard to snap into place. So women, if you have long nails, save them and 
try to get some help with this from somebody else. Next, you have to connect the two bars on both sides of the mesh netting together. Now you can place the bassinet on top of the pack and play by snapping it onto the sides. There are four clips in total, two in the front and two in the back. Next, grab the two long bars and connect them together. You should hear a click sound when it has securely connected or you can visually see it on the bar. After you have done that, slide it through the openings of the diaper changing pad. You might have to shimmy the fabric at the same time as sliding the bars into it. Now grab the two short bars and connect it to the ends of the long bars. The prongs should be facing inwards for proper installation. Match the prongs to the connectors on the sides of the pack and play and turn the prong to lock it into place. Now take the flap of the diaper changing area and button it to the outer sides of the pack and play. Do not forget to attach the velcro on the bottom of the changing pad to the inside of the pack and play. Now take the two hooks and push it through the slots on the side of the organizer. Now hook the organizer onto the front side of the pack and play. I would recommend lifting the front side of the bassinet to allow for an easier installation of the organizer. Once that's attached securely, snap the bassinet back into place. Now take the bassinet vibrator module and hook it into the side of the bassinet. This comes with a vibrator, a light, it plays music and sounds, and it also has volume control. So we get the ease of setup of 4 out of 5. Reason being is that the instructions could be a little bit more clearer. For the durability and stability, we give it a 5 out of 5. For the functionality, we give it a 5 out of 5. There is lots of storage space and doesn't take up too much space. To remove the bassinet, all you have to do is unbutton the strap, lift up the bassinet, and remove. To use the bassinet as a rocker, all you have to do is pull the gripped bars out from underneath the bassinet. Then when you want to use the bassinet on a sturdy surface, all you have to do is flip the bars back inward. And there you have it. Is it worth the money? I would definitely say yes. I would highly recommend if you want to save money, time and space, but also have a reliable, safe and durable pack and play, this baby trend pack and play is great for all of that. On our next video, we will be reviewing and doing a tutorial on the Graco Modes 3-in-1 travel system with Snug Ride 35 in the colored downtown fashion.